You don't have to be an, yeah. a homicide investigator to go, well, there's something significant has happened there. Mm. When people go digging into their past, they can often find great stories and meet new family members. But other times, what they find out can be truly heartbreaking. I would say at that point, she has made it clear, I've got a new life and you're not part of it. That's why I think she ended up paying a terrible cost and she's never seen again. So Matthew's story was on the SBS TV show called Every Family Has a Secret. And we're actually going to need your help. But first... Let me give you the backstory. Matthew was adopted from the Philippines and grew up in Perth, Australia. As he grew older, like a lot of us, started to get a little bit curious about his biological family and his biological history. So he does an ancestry DNA test and he finds his birth father all the way over in the US and he goes over to meet him. Oh, it's so awesome, isn't it? Have a look at this picture. Look how similar they look. It's unbelievable. It's really funny. Often you do all these tests and it's the biology stuff and the ancestry and then you meet them and look at them and just go, oh, well, that was obvious. <laughs> and he also ends up finding his birth mother's family in the Philippines. So this is his birth mother's sister and her daughter, which would be his niece. Hello. How are you going? We're fine. How are you? I'm very well, very well. So after meeting the birth mother's family, he finds out that the birth mother actually moved to Australia as well. She moved to Melbourne and gets a job. He started to work at uh, the Mel Melbourne Club. She was a housekeeper. Then she disappeared on the 8th of January, 1987. Her body has never been, been found. So Matthew's birth mother ends up working for this guy called Vincenzo Leonardi, who the more I look into him, he just seems like a really shady character. He always had multiple mistresses on the go. He had girlfriends, he had wives, and he was always getting really close to the staff at the Melbourne Club. Leonardi obviously appreciates her work because she's promoted, but I think that he was grooming her. I think that he was giving her special treatment. He was driving her home. So on the 8th of January, 1987, this is where she met for the last time. Yes. Uh, Leonardi. I would say at that point, she has made it clear I've got a new life and you're not part of it. That's why I think she ended up paying a terrible cost and she's never seen again. So the police kind of investigate and they reach this conclusion. I am satisfied that she has been the victim of foul play and is now deceased. However, the identity of the person or persons contributing to that death cannot be determined. Cannot be determined. That's it. Cannot be determined. So. Let me quickly tell you about the Melbourne Club. It is the literal definition of a boys club. No girls allowed, these rich old guys swirling their brandy, cutting deals, scratching each other's back. The kinds of people who are members. We've got rich businessmen, politicians, chief justices, governor generals, wealthy investors, real estate developers, and police chiefs. All rubbing shoulders, helping each other out. Now, the reason I know this place always has police chiefs is I remember when Victoria got a female police chief, there was this big brouhaha. Christine Nixon was her name, and people from Melbourne might remember this story. Some of the Melbourne club members were like, oh, we don't allow girls. We can't let her in. But the other half of the members were like, well, if we don't have the police chief, then what's the point of this whole thing? So it's, it's a pretty cooked organization. And as you can see, they chose to ban her and not let her be a part of it because she's a girl. Uh, I guess my point is, if the police chief is there rubbing shoulders with rich people, feeling important, having a drink, they're helping him out, are the police the right people to be investigating what's happening at the Melbourne Club? Suddenly, it's really convenient that those findings cannot be determined. It's, yeah. So it straight up just gets brushed aside. Who would have guessed it? However, a few years later, something happens to another staff member. Another woman, another member of the staff, Milagros Dark, her body is found and she's bashed to death. Again, it's suggested that she was having an affair with Leonardi. She's also Filipina. She also worked for him. At Nanita's inquest in 1995, the spotlight was finally shone on Leonardi. Vince Leonardi was an, an extremely violent father. He treated the family badly. Two of the girls were having an argument and he threw an axe at one of them. 
On one occasion, he assaulted one of the girls so badly she was in bed for three weeks. And she was told next time he may kill her. Wow. When it came to the inquest, mm. he chose not to. not to give evidence on the grounds of self-incrimination. So, Vincenzo Leonardi. His wife is still in Italy and he's in Melbourne, Australia, right? So he ends up getting this girlfriend in Melbourne, Australia and the girlfriend moves in. And not only does she move in, they actually have two kids together. So then eventually the wife in Italy moves to Melbourne, Australia. So in the one house, all living together, we've got Vincenzo Leonardi, we've got his wife, we've also got his girlfriend and we've got the two children and they're all living under the same roof. And then one day, randomly, the girlfriend just disappears. So this is Simon Illingworth. He's actually a former policeman who actually helped weed out and prosecute corrupt police officers back in the day. And he's had a look into the case. So he's now living in the house with his wife, Anna Maria's two children, two daughters. Vince then convinced those children that Flora, his wife, was their mother. Yeah, yeah. So they lived that lie for many years. You don't have to be a homicide investigator to go, well, there's something significant has happened there. Mm. It's crazy stuff. This has never come to light, right? Not in an inquest, not in anything. This is really crucial and critical because it's revolving around Vince. So Matthew was looking for answers and now not only does his birth mother's whole family in the Philippines want answers as well, but there's actually two whole other cases with two whole other families that are looking for answers, that are looking for the truth and unfortunately, probably looking for justice. And when I say two other families, like there's only two others we know about at the moment. So this is why I need your help. This is why I've made this video. This is why I've been in conversation with SBS and I've got their blessing and access to all this footage and all their intel is. Rightly or wrongly, sometimes a bit of public pressure, sometimes a bit of online energy is what's needed for the police to reopen a case. Or maybe someone's seen something that they thought wasn't a big deal, but it could be that minor detail that helps bring justice to Matthew's family and all those other families involved as well. So if you can share this video and help me get it seen by as many people as possible, I would really appreciate it. Most adoptees, and myself included, we just want closure. You, you know there's a story there and it's your story. It's about your life and you don't know what it is. And you, you can see how that can kind of eat away at you after a while, you know. And, um, you know, sometimes it's a good story. Sometimes it's a bad story. But I feel like everyone's entitled to just at least know what that is and to have some closure. And I I think Matthew deserves that. I think the birth mother's family in the Philippines deserve that. I feel like the other families of the other cases, they all deserve for the police to reopen this case and probably have a bit of a better look than they did the first time. When it comes to my, to my two boys, if they ask me, what have you done for her? I will be a proud and I will be able to, to tell them. So that I did everything I can to find her.